Hey, I'm Alex here from LearnCube, and today I'm with Brooke. She's a qualified, experienced online teacher, and we're talking about how to make our students more active and participating in the class. Uh, Brooke, tell us a couple of reasons why it's so important that a student stays active in a class and what that means. Right. An active student is definitely going to learn things more efficiently. They're going to remember things better, and they're going to take more charge of their learning. Brooke, what's one thing that you would ask me to do as your student uh, to be more active in the class? <laughs> one thing that I would ask the student to do is to take advantage of our an annotation tools that we have. Okay. So you can actually draw right on the page. Okay. So for this exercise, you could go ahead and on the bottom left-hand corner, you'll go up and you'll see that there's a pencil icon and you can use it and draw directly on the page. Ah, perfect. Arrow, you can write, for example. Okay. Here. Even a text box tool that you can use. You as the teacher want me as a student to do more of that rather than you doing that for me, I'm assuming. Yes, of course. If you're a little bit more active in the class, it's way easier for you not to tune out. Perfect. One of the other great things that you can do in a classroom to keep the student more active is to really get them to talk to you. So here, when we go into conversation mode, it feels a little bit more personal. And it does. I feel like it really helps getting the student to engage in conversation. That's right. And actually LearnCube now can track talk time. Right. We definitely want the student to be speaking more than half of the class. So it, that tool is really useful. One feature that a lot of teachers ask us about is screen sharing. Brooke, tell us how you use screen sharing and what the difference is between using a LearnCube whiteboard like this and then using screen share. I use a screen sharing to help keep my students involved in the classroom. For example, I can share my screen here on YouTube. Okay. And we can choose a video together. So what's the main difference between using screen share and using the whiteboard? Instead of just seeing the same page, we're actually on the same page. Got it. And I can see that it's really clear. And so the idea is that I would actually write notes. Brooke, are the annotations saved on the page or on the screen? They're saved on the page. Got it. So that means we can go back and see the material, right, and we'll see the notes that we've already made. I guess that must help with a really fluent class. Yes, it's really good to be able to go back and see what was done in the previous class even. So those are some tips about getting students active in the classroom, and you can find out more at www.learncube.com. Thanks.